it's Monday again. I know, right? It just happened last week. It's time for us to fly into the night. Yeah, so I just got back from driving to the airport with my Auntie Charlene to pick up my grandma and my Auntie Cheryl um, because they had just gone to visit my Uncle Todd in San Francisco. I'm staring to make a Foxy Awesome Hunt because um, I got to go on a long drive and I actually really, really, who's texting me? Oh, it's Twitter. And I actually really, really like long drives, even as long as, you know, I don't have to drive. Um, I don't know, I just find it really relaxing and the fact that you can just do nothing is fun. Um, this week is patriotic week, so we're going to talk about why we love being Canadian. Um, I was at the airport today and I thought, wow, this would be like the perfect place to do that. But there were too many people and I was like, eh, 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 eh. so. I really like living in Canada. It doesn't have very much drama and we are free. Um, we have free health care and we have gay marriage and we have a lot of the things that America wants. You know? Hmm. Sorry, I just noticed this. Hey, here is my poster. What is that? Like, it's totally part of the poster, too. I just don't freaking know what it is. Um, anyway, I also really like our money. I think that every time that I go to the U.S. and I try to pay for stuff, it's like, how am I supposed to know what the amounts are? I don't like that they have $1 bills. Like, our coins are pretty good by themselves, you know? So, yeah. One thing I don't like about Canada, though, is that, um... A lot of bands, they go, we are touring across America and Canada. And what they really mean is we're touring across America and Ontario. And that's disappointing. Twitter is texting me again. What, shall we see who tweeted? That is of import importance. Wait, it was James Maslow. Isn't that exciting? So um, this Saturday was the like three or four year anniversary of DFTBA Records. And if you buy something, if you bought something that day, you'd only, it'd only be $3 shipping. And if you bought anything today, yesterday, or Saturday, you got a free DFTBA wristband. And I was like, I need one of those. So I got two John Green posters. I'm really excited to get them. So I was challenged by two people this week. I do declare. And by declare, I mean believe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Erica challenged the whole order to punish her. I challenge you to do your homework before you do anything else. What? And Jacob challenged the order to talk about our plans for next year. Um, as in like after we graduate? Um, I think. I mean next year I'm gonna turn 18 in like three months actually. And I'm really excited about that. I don't even know why. Actually, I'm not excited. Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to be an uh, adult. Yuck, yuck. No, that's not what I'm excited for. But um, after I graduate, I am going to Red Deer College to be um, to work on singing and acting, and I might go to Vancouver School of Film um, to become a video editor. And I was also thinking about being a voice actor because I can do a lot of different voices. Um, the person that I roll, I am going to challenge them to tell us what YouTuber, if they could be subscribed to only one YouTuber, who would it be if you only had one subscription and you couldn't watch any of the other ones, you just had one, who would you watch? And that is a five, so that is Shawnee. If you could be only subscribe to one YouTuber and you can only watch their videos, who would you be subscribed to? And you can't choose Dan and Phil. You can't choose Super Mega Super Amazing Project. You can only choose Dan is Not on Fire or Amazing Phil. I'm watching you. Jack Scap? Eh? This week's hair product character of the week is Dean Thomas. And I really like Dean Thomas. I don't even know why, but I really, really like him. And yeah. My friend Dean, um his middle name is Thomas. So, I find that funny that he is Dean Thomas, technically. 
I think it's funny. Dean Thomas was a half-blood wizard, the son of a wizard and a muggle. His father left his mother when he was young, and his mother married another man, giving Dean several half-siblings. Dean grew up thinking he was muggle-born, because his father never told his mother that he was a wizard, and was eventually murdered by Death Eaters when he refused to join them. Dean was a Gryffindor student at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and played as a chaser for their Quidditch team for a time. In his fifth year, he joined Dumbledore's Army, an organization founded and led by Harry Potter. He was also the best friend of Seamus Finnegan and dated Ginny Weasley for a time. Dean, although, ha although a half-blood, could not prove that he had any wizarding heritage and was therefore in danger when Lord Voldemort took control of the Ministry of Magic in 1997. Dean was forced to go on the run to avoid arrest and imprisonment by the Muggleborn Registration Commission, missing his seventh year of schooling. He was eventually captured by Snatchers, but escaped Malfoy Manor along with several other prisoners and soon returned to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry to participate in the final bat battle of the Second Visiting War. The Second Visiting War. Oh, yeah. Um, Dave, to be and Izzy, I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> So the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man, run on the stand, he said, hey, bum, 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 got any grapes?